So in this session, we will gonna solve this another lead code problem that is the shortest distance to a character. If you have uh, basic knowledge of arrays, then you can easily solve this problem. Okay. So you are given a string basically in this question and a character. Along with that, a character, you, both will be given to you, right? And that character occurs in that string. So that character that is being given to you is a part of the string. So you have to just return the array of integers where every character in a string should be like the distance its, its distance should be calculated from the given character so let me just explain let me show you so let's say you are given a character string love lead code and you have been given a character e this this string now this e string character is present in this whole string right you can see here this 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 here and here so it is occurring four times right so what do you need to do we you need to return a list named as answer and in that list you need to just calculate the distance the minimum distance of a character let's say this l we are uh, we are calculating the distance of l from e then what will uh, it happens it's 0 1 2 3 so 0 minus 3 it will becomes 3 so let's say we are just calculating the length of l so the length of L is so L is present at 0, 0th index, right? And E is present at the third index, right? Third index. So what you need to do here is that you need to just subtract it 0 minus 3. So it will become minus 3. But if we apply the absolute function, then it will become 3, right? We are applying the absolute function. It, it just convert the negative number into a positive number like this. So we have L on the zeroth index and E on the third index. So the, the main answer we got is three. So the distance of L from E is three. So what do we need to do? We need to just append it to the answer list. So first letter that L has a distance three. Now the next thing, next thing is O. O, so we need to just calculate its distance from E. So O is at, you can see here, O is at first index. O is at first index and E is at third index. So what will be gonna answer? So the answer is two. So you have to append two into the list, right? And when you just apply this V, the, so the distance will become one, right? Now what will happen then when you just reach here, you just did this, you just have done this, you have just done this. But now when you just come over here, E, now what are we gonna do? So if we just here uh, on, a, on the same if you are standing on the same character that is given to you, then the distance from that character will obviously be zero because you are standing at the same index. So there will be the three, you are standing at three. So three minus three will be like zero, right? So you will append just zero. Now what? Now the again L. Now this L is, you can see its leading character contains E and its following character is also can contain the E. Right, so the both characters are E. Now what you have to do, you have to just check the first occurrence, like the character behind that L, right? So the distance from that is obviously one, so you will just only append one here, right? So one one like this, so you can see here, it, it is at three and L is at four. So the main answer that you will get will be one. So the one is appended here. So this this will, will go on and on. So you can see the next character is O, sorry E. So you can just automatically append zero. And again, the next character is E. So you will append zero and the next character is T. So I've written here the indexes of each and every character here. So you may better understand this. So we are right now on the, we have done this L, we have done this O, V, E, L, E, E. Now we are standing at the T. Yeah, it means like seventh index. So the distance of T from E here is, you can see like seven minus, seven minus six. So it will obviously be one. So you will append one here, right? And again, you can say eight. So you can say C, C is at eight, eight index. So the distance from the eight and E, which is at six in that index, then you will just gonna append this two. And again, so this will this loop will gonna run and you will get here the answer two and at one and zero. So this will be your final answer list. 
here like this but before that before that we need to just track the occurrences we need to track the occurrences here first what do we need to do here if you can see this algorithm i have written here for you first we need to check the number of occurrences of the given letter right we need to check the number of occurrences of the given letter so where are the occurrences you can see here that the e is present at the third index it is also present at the fifth index sixth index and you can see the 11th index so it is occurring four times so on these separate indexes and we need to calculate the distances so we need to calculate the distances and if the ith index is the same as the given letter then the distance will be zero that's why i told you then when we are standing at the e then the distance will automatically be zero if the ith index is some other letter then it will calculate the distance from the all the occurrences of the given letter right so if uh, we are standing at the l let's say we are standing at the l then we just let i just made another list here name time so the distance of l from e is 3 the distance from l from 5 is from the fifth index the zeroth index from the fifth index is you can say 5 the distance from the zeroth index till is 6 and the distance from the zeroth index till 11 index is 11 so this is how we just calculated the distance of this index zeroth index to all the occurrences of the of the character so now what we have to do in the end we need to just put a min function here right the min function that is usually in python so you can see this min function what will it will return it will return the minimum value so what is the minimum value this is the three so it will return the three value so the three index will be appended to this answer list and this how this is how this whole thing will gonna go so i hope you uh, understand this thing let's just make the algorithm let me show you so here what i have to do here first thing first i have to just track the number of occurrences so for that i am just initializing an empty list and I'm just occurring the loop for i in range len of s. I'm just running the loop till the length of the string s into i. Like is is equals to c, the given character. If uh, the index of the string is given character, then what you have to do is the you have to just uh, append it into the occurrence list here like this right so this is how we can get all of the occurrences i've just made this thing just for this occurrence list right here now the next thing what you have to do we need to just make another list that is named as answer i initialize another list and for that i just initializing another loop for i in range again this loop will be equal to the number of elements in the list and uh, here what we have to do is that we need to check first first of all first thing first what we need to do we need to just check if the ith element is the same as the given letter then the distance will be zero if the ith element so if s i is is equals to c the given character then we just need to put zero instead of that answer dot append i'm just appending zero in case of that or else if it is not the character that is being given to you then what do we have to do we have to just calculate the distance from all of the occurrences of the given character so in that case we need to do we need to just uh, um, compare the distance of the character with the all of the occurrences i'm just making another list that is temp and for that for j in range so this range will be equals to the occurrence now what we have to do here is that we need to just append it temp dot append and what we have to do is that i'm just applying this absolute and occurrence j the occurrence item and minus you can say i so the so the character that is being selected by the first loop will be subtracted from the character present in the occurrence right so this is how we're going to do here and in the end we need to just calculate the minimum value minimum distance I'm just making the minimum distance and this will be min that is present in the temporary list and in the end we will append this into the answer list min distance like this right and in the end we need to just return the answer so this is the whole algorithm that uh, i have written here so this is the to track the uh, number of occurrences now this is for the final answer we just append it 
zero if that if the if the uh, character is same as given then it will append just zero but else if the character is not same as the given character then we will just make the temporary and just calculate the distances from all of the indices and then we will just append the minimum value to this answer and just return it so let's just run this and you can see it is perfectly working here so i hope you understand this thing and uh, just if you want to just calculate the time and space complexity so the time complexity you can see this is the on time complexity and for that this is the on and this is also in the uh, occurrence thing so this is the on square so the final time time complexity that we have so the time complexity of this algorithm is on square and the space complexity is on where n is the number of elements in the answer list so we are making two lists here this is the occurrence list and this is the answer list this is the temporary list so we will just gonna neglect it but these two are the main things so the main thing is the answer list so based on that we are just saying that the space complexity is on so i hope you understand this problem it is the shortest distance to a character problem and if you have any kind of queries and questions then you can ask me in the comment section